वेलकम बैक टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम यूर एस एस टी टीचर वंदना जोशी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एस एस टी जून स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज चैप्टर एग्रीकल्चर फ्रॉम जियोग्राफी हेयर वी विल स्टडी वट इज एग्रीकल्चर वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द एग्रीकल्चर वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन विच वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द सबसिस्टेंस फार्मिंग एंड द इंटेंसिव एग्रीकल्चर we will also study the different type of major crops and the commercial crops and later we will study about the development in the agricultural field so let's start our revision with the introduction of agriculture so students what is agriculture generally agriculture we are saying that it is a farming but agriculture yes it is farming but it is the mixture of two words agri or agar we can say or we can say soil culture it means cultivation so the cultivation of soil cultivation of soil is agriculture so here we can say the cultivation of soil or whatever the cultivation is done in the soil whether it is the cropping animal rearing and any other things these all are included in the agriculture let's see how all the types of activity which are produced in the soil are com coming under the agriculture as i was saying to you there are different type of activities which are related to the agriculture but their name is different so let's see first of all if we will talk about the agriculture generally we are saying growing crops and other things but it includes many things first of all agriculture include the agriculture itself in which we can include the farming and growing crops we can uh, and include in that uh, animal rearing and many type of things okay then second is the sericulture sericulture is related to the silk cultivation means uh, the silk uh, which is the fiber the silk cultivation is known as the sericulture next is viticulture it is related to the cultivation of grapes whatever the activities are related to the grapes whether it is uh, growing grapes and other activities these all are coming under the viticulture then another one is pisciculture students pisciculture uh, in that pc is the fish culture is cultivation so the cultivation of fish fish breeding fish cultivation and the fishing everything is coming in the pisciculture now the another one culture or another one cultivation is horticulture horticulture means uh, growing fruits flowers and the vegetable it is coming under the horticulture so there are total five type of activities which we can include in the agriculture only students it was the introduction of agriculture and the different cultivations which are correlated with the agriculture now the question is there are there any factors which are influencing to the agriculture 
yes there are many factors which are influencing to the agriculture because the agriculture is not a single activity it includes many kind of activities through which it is known as a complete activity as agriculture is a primary activity it's providing us raw material so in that many sources are there many factors are there so let's see what are the factors which are uh, affecting to the agriculture so students in general if we will talk about the factors which are affecting to the agriculture these are generally of two types that is the physical factors and the second factor which is influencing to the agriculture that is the human factor one more factor is there students about which we will talk uh, later first let's see what are the physical factors and the human factors so first of all the physical factors the physical factors in which we can include the geographical structure of that given area and the geographical feature so in that we can include about the climate soil relief etc so as we know climate is a very important factor for the agriculture because every type of crop is having a different type of climatic zone so climate is the important factor second is the soil soil texture city to hold the water and many other abilities due to which we know that there is the soil is an important factor then after that the relief the area the altitude and the relief of that particular area means the topography of that particular area is also a important physical factor so there are total mainly we can include these three physical factors many more are there uh, like we can say the availability of water and availability of rainfall many things are there availability of uh, sunlight and many other factors are also we can include in the physical factor next is the human factor now come to the human factor students the human factor the first of all main important factor is the labors second is capital students here the capital means money and the most important factor for the agriculture because the agriculture is not for the uh, human uh, consumption for their own it is also for the economical beneficial value so that after that market is the most important factor which we can include in the factor which are influencing to the agriculture so there are total uh, two type of main factors which are influencing but nowadays in many countries to improve the condition of agriculture the government has also given many type of policy to improvement in the agricultural field so third factor we can include the government policy so government policies as we know now the government is providing subsidy to the farmer many type of rules and regulations and many type of policies and the facilities came for the farmer so the government policy is the another factor which is influencing to the agriculture so hope students now you understood what is the different type of factors which are influencing to the agriculture students moving forward to the next topic that is the types of agriculture so if we will talk about the types there are total generally agriculture can be divided into two types that is subsistence agriculture and the commercial agriculture so let's talk about these two types subsistence farming and second is commercial farming 
सो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सब्सटेंस फार्मिंग एंड द कमर्शियल फार्मिंग स्टूडेंट्स सब्सटेंस फार्मिंग जनरली इट वॉज यूज इन द प्रीवियस टाइम नाव इट इज ऑल्सो वी आर यूजिंग द सब्सटेंस फार्मिंग बट नॉट इन द बिग मैनर सब्सटेंस फार्मिंग वी कैन से वे और द क्रॉप्स आर ग्रोन फॉर ओनली द फैमिली यूज and in the commercial farming we can include the crops for the money making means for the economical beneficial subsistence farming we can include the primitive subsistence farming and the uh, intensive subsistence farming the primitive subsistence farming means a primary type of subsistence farming and the intensive subsistence farming means we can include the agriculture in which we have to include some uh, simple tools uh, for the agriculture but in the intensive uh, farming uh, it is little bit more advanced from the primitive subsistence farming one more is there that is the nomadic farming nomadic farming as uh, so many time we have studied about the shifting cultivation so jhum cultivation shifting cultivation and whatever the farmings which were done by the nomads these were included in the nomadic farming and it is included in the subsistence farming now the commercial farming commercial farming mostly used in the many countries so commercial farming in that we can include the mixed farming especially it is beneficial for the economical development of the farmer as well as for the country so there are total two types now let's see what are the uh, meanings of these two Uh, or we can say the subtypes of the subsistence farming and the commercial farming now students we will see the major type of crops students the major type of crops are generally divided into four parts the major crops in which we can include the food crops the fiber crops beverage crops and the commercial crops so if we will include in the food crops the main staple food is the rice so rice is the main crop of tropical and the subtropical regions and we can say about one half of the population of the world include the whole of east asia use rice as their staple food and which uh, we can say the suitable temperature for the rice is 20 degree centigrade to the 30 degree centigrade now let's see what is the next uh, major crop that is wheat wheat is the most widely cultivated food crop in the world and which required the normal temperature in the moderate area and uh, the simple rainfall around 30 to 90 cm uh, rainfall is there required the next is the maize maize is the next uh, food crop and uh, we can say it is the third major food crop of the world and uh, originated in the central america and uh, we can say uh, the temperature the Uh, average temperature is required fifteen degree centigrade, and the rain which need fifty degree fifty centimeter to seventy five centimeter of rainfall is required for the food crops. Students, if we talk about the fiber crops, cotton, jute, hemp, and the natural silk are the four major fiber crops grown in the world. The first three are derived from the plant by growing crops, whereas silk is obtained from the cocoons of the silkworm. and if we talk about the production of silk it is coming under the sericulture and the next is the cotton cotton is a fiber and comes under non food crops category it is a 
world famous fiber crop and the next one is the jute like cotton jute is also a fiber crops cultivated for the commercial purpose so we can include jute in the commercial crops as well and it is also known as the golden fiber now next is the beverage crops so beverage crops as we know that tea coffee cocoa are the beverage crops and tea especially it is an example of plantation agriculture it is well grown in the tropical and the subtropical climate and we know india is the famous country in the uh, growing tea and apart from india that china sri lanka kenya turkey and indonesia are there and in india the leading tea producing state is assam and second is the west bengal the part of darjeeling now let's see coffee coffee is the second largest beverage after tea it is obtained from the beans or seeds of the coffee plant which are then roasted ground and used for brewing coffee and uh, the leading producer of coffee are brazil vietnam indonesia colombia mexico india and ethiopia in india it mainly produced in karnataka kerala and tamil nadu now students the main important part that some commercial crops the commercial crops if you will include there are many types of commercial crops like sugarcane rubber oil seed fiber crops tobacco grains and beverages but the most important commercial crop is sugarcane rubber and the oil seed sugarcane which we use generally for the sugar it is the important source of sugar it is a kind of grass which has a thick stem cultivation of sugar can requires high temperature and plenty of rainfall yes the large population of the produce is crushed for the producing of gur or shakar and the rest of the uh, produce is uh, consumed in the modern mills for the manufacturing of refined crystal sugar and the leading producer of sugar is brazil others are we can say cuba in west indies india mexico pakistan south africa fiji hawaii iceland and many more are there so uh, if you talk about in india the leading sugarcane producer state is uttar pradesh then punjab bihar uttarakhand maharashtra andhra pradesh some part in karnataka in tamil nadu as well the second important commercial crop is rubber and we know that rubber is a sticky juicy or latex obtained from rubber trees in the equatorial forest the countries which are leading producer of rubber in the world are thailand malaysia indonesia india sri lanka nigeria brazil and many more countries are in included in that but if in india we will talk about the rubber the kanyakumari district of tamil nadu and kerala are the important part from india which are the leading producer of rubber oil seed oil seed student it is also a important commercial crop because these are not cereal but they provide us oil to cook food apart from cooking oil is used to make candles paints varnishes soap and many other things so uh, some important um, oil seeds crops are linseed castor sesame palm groundnut olive coconut mustard soybean and sunflower oil seeds are grown worldwide however the us is the leading producer of oil seed but if we talk about india in india the leading oil producer states are gujarat andhra pradesh madhya pradesh rajasthan and karnataka friends here we have studied what is agriculture what are the factors influencing to the agriculture what are the different types of agriculture and the major crops in our next video we will study about the the development in agriculture and many government policies through which the agriculture is now developing we will also study about the green revolution in our country and many more revolutions which are included with the agriculture 
So students, here are few questions to you which are from the video. You can give its answer in the comment box. And for the next video and updates, keep watching SST Zone. Oh, mm -hmm.